Hello, my name is James Jernigan, and in this SERP Checker video, I would like to share with you an SEO tool you can use to find keywords that have high search volumes and low competition. And not only that, I wanna show you how you can track your rankings for these keywords in the SERPs over time. And if you're new here, when we're talking about SEO, that's search engine optimization, SERPs means search engine results pages. So what we wanna do is find keywords that not a whole lot of people are targeting, but that a whole lot of people are searching, and then we want to see how our website ranks for these keywords so that we can make improvements. So without further ado, let's jump right into the SERP Checker tool so I can show you exactly how this works. Now, the first thing you want to do with this tool is check the traffic to your website. That's a no-brainer, right? So all you're going to do is put your website into this box. I will use one of my blogs, for example, hustlemarketing.com, and click Submit. So what will happen is in just a few moments here, depending on how many pages you have on your website, this tool is going to show you all of the keywords that you are currently ranking for on Google. So as you can see here, you get quite a bit of data with this. You get the keyword itself, you get an estimated number of monthly searches that are happening for that keyword. You get the average cost per click if you were going to run ads for that keyword. You get your website's current rank for the keyword as well as your previous rank. Now this is very important when it comes to tracking your results over time. So as you can see here, this keyword has moved from 59 to 57 since the last time I have used this tool. Now what is cool about this is if we scroll over here, you'll notice this little check mark. And by clicking this, you can see these ones that are yellow have been added to my project. So this is how you're going to track your rankings over time. So if I click here on this project, we get some more detail about these keywords. So like I said, we can check the last rank versus current rank. So here you can see this one has moved from 32 to six, and this is supposedly a hard keyword. According to this tool, it gets searched about 90 times a month, and that keyword is butterfly marketing. So as we scroll down here, another thing that's cool about this tool is you can organize this data any way you want. So if you wanna search by search rate, there we go. We can see which keywords on this blog get searched the most. If you wanna search by difficulty, you can do that. And um, you know, the cool thing is you can even rearrange these columns to put them in whatever order is most important to you as you are tracking your progress. So there's a number of other things you could do with this tool, and that is what I wanna show you. In addition to tracking your ranking in the SERPs, this tool can do a lot of other things that will help with your SEO. For example, if you wanna do keyword research, all you do is enter the topic to get your keywords. So here we could do SEO, SEO audit, and SEO checklist. As uh, these are the keywords that were listed here as an example, and I talk about SEO, so that's perfect. Let's see what the tool spits out. Again, you give it just a few moments while it loads up the keywords, and there you can see it's already found 200, almost 300, now we're at 300, over 300 keywords that I can use in my content, in my web pages, in my blog to drive organic traffic to my website, which is what we wanna do. So a few things to notice here. Like I said, you'll notice the number of monthly searches that a keyword gets. Here you get a low bid and a high bid when it comes to cost per click or PPC advertising. So for example, for this keyword right here, SEO company gets uh, 14,800 searches per month. And if you were to run ads on this keyword, it would cost you between $16 to $38 per click. That means each person that clicks on your ad, it's charging you $16 to $38. And you can see here, the keyword difficulty is hard. Uh, although the competition is low, if we scroll over a bit, you can see why the competition is so hard with some more data provided by this tool. Here you can see in title results. And for this keyword here, SEO company, you could see that there's 260,000 websites showing up with this keyword in the title. So what you wanna do is find keywords that are easy to rank for. They have a low competition and a lot of monthly searches. So for example, SEO services, Primellis. Uh, perhaps that's a brand or maybe it's something in a different language. I'm not too sure about that, but if we scroll down, I'm sure we'll find some other ones. So here we go, Google keywords. Instead of keywords being one word, here it's two, but according to this tool, um, this gets 8,100 searches per month, but it's easy and there's only seven other websites that even have this keyword, Google keywords, 
in the title. So if there's only seven other websites that have this word in the title, but it's getting 8,100 searches a month, odds are that would be a great keyword for me to target with my SEO campaigns. It just so happens I made a video for that keyword a few days ago because I found it using this tool. So you can absolutely do the exact same thing for your website. You can plug your keywords into this keyword finder tool, scroll through, find the easiest ones to rank for, create content about that, and then you can come back to this tool and track your results for your keywords over time. And you'll get data exactly like I'm seeing here, and we can sort it to see uh, which keywords I rank best for with this blog. And so here you can see this one, how to make money on YouTube without a thousand subscribers. I'm currently ranked 11. Uh, the last time this tool checked, I was 20. So there we go, moved up by into in the search results by 50%. And that is all thanks to this tool. Here's another one, moved from 49 to 15, 19 to 16. Um, looks like this one's going the wrong way, Peng June review, but uh, you get the idea. So. As time goes on, you can track your progress and see if the changes you are making are actually having the effect you want them to have on your website. So if you want to try out this tool, there's actually a crazy deal going on right now. Until Christmas, you can get this tool for, I think, what comes out to about 20 bucks a month. So click the link down below to check out the tool. If you happen to see this video before Christmas, definitely grab the Christmas deal because like I said, it's going to come out to about $20 a month. And uh, if you've ever looked for buying SEO tools before, you'll know that most of them cost a lot more than that. And uh, as you can see here, this is plenty of data to get you started with ranking and tracking your results over time. So like I said, check out the link down below. If it's before Christmas, make sure to grab the deal for $20 a month. If it's after Christmas, I'm guessing this tool can still help you quite a bit. And hey, if it even helps you make one sale per month, then it's paid for itself. So a no brainer as far as I'm concerned, check it out at the link down below. And other than that, I can't wait to see your website on the first page of Google. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Until next time, take it easy, everybody.